What's up guys? It's your bro Rich here Rich here. Today in this video is now it's now part thirteen on the Chevrolet Corvette. Now today in this video I am actually gonna like possibly maybe there's a possibility that I might be able to try and attempt to finish this off. So this is part thirteen on the Chevrolet Corvette. Let's say part thirteen on the Chevrolet Chevrolet Corvette. Today, um, where I left off to from the last video, I am now on the C6R GT2 01 Corvette. <clears throat> so before I start, make sure you all like the video, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notification bell, and turn it all so you are alerted to when I make new uploads. Alright, <clears throat> without any further ado, let's get started. <clears throat> so the C6R the C6R, C6R GT2 uh, one Corvette. <coughs> so I'm on the C6R GT2, so C6R GT2 Corvette, the zero one. <coughs> so let's do it. Uh, while some privateers continued to use the GT1 version of the, so while some privateers continued, to, while some privateers continued to use the G continue to use the GT1 Corvette, so the GT1 version of the C6R in Europe, the official factory factory team Corvette Racing switched from the slowly dying GT1 from the slowly dying GT slowly dying GT1 category to the much more competitive and popular so competitive and popular GT2 class. In mid two thousand nine, the new the new GT two C six R used a modif used a modified version of the zero one zero one model body, but does not have the zero one supercharged engine. So that wasn't actually asking me to think. <coughs> GT two rules, so GT two rules are basically. So GT2 rules are based more on more on production, are based more on production uh, production vehicles. Therefore, the GT2 C6R naturally aspirated naturally aspirated engine was considerably more considerably <coughs> considerably more realistic. Not realistic. Not realistic. Sorry. Considerably more restrictive and less powerful. Than its predecessor, the car debuted at debuted at Mid Ohio's ALMS round. They achieved one ALMS race victory in the remaining 2009 ALMS season, and one victory at the final round of the 2010 ALMS season. The Tic Le Mans Corvette Racing's two GT2 C6Rs also led most of the 2010. 24 hours of Le Mans, but both cars were forced to retire. Racing in the new GTE Pro class, the C6R raced in the 2011 24 hours of Le Mans with the number 73 car taking the, the class victory. The number 74 car led the class for most of the race, but crashed in the morning hours. The C6R raced by Larbre, can't really pronounce that, but it's spelled A L, it's spelled L A R B R E competition also took the GTE AM class victory. In twenty twelve, Corvette Racing returned to glory in the AL in the ALMS, winning four of ten or forty percent uh, races and uh, claiming the drivers team and manufacturers uh, championships. So drivers championships team championships and manufacturers championships. Corvette Racing repeated the feat in the feat in um, twenty thirteen by winning five out of ten or five out of ten fifty percent of the races and claiming the drivers team and manufacturers championships again. Now we got the C seven R in twenty fourteen 
Corvette Racing introduced the new C7R to coincide with to coincide with the launch of the seventh generation C7 Corvette, my dream Corvette. The car the car made its uh, track debut at the twenty third at the twenty thirteen Rolex Motorsports. So ro- at the twenty thirteen Rolex Motorsports reunion, and later participated in the twenty fourteen roar before the rolex 24 to prepare for the uh, 2014 united sports car championship the car's new livery debuted at the 2014 north american international auto show in 2015 the corvette racing c7r took class victories at both the 24 hours of daytona and the 24 hours of Le Mans. Now we got C8R. In, t- in October 2019, at the Kennedy Space Center uh, Visitor Complex, the C8R made its surprise debut during the world premiere of the C8 convertible. Uh, two cars took part in the 2020 Rolex 24 at Daytona International Speedway. The cars placed 4th and 7th in the GT LM class for the 20, 2022 for, so for the 2022 model year. Uh, Chevrolet offered a C8R um, inspired IMSA uh, GT so IMSA GT LM special so IMSA GTLM special edition package for the production Corvette Stingray. <clears throat> now we got the Indy 500 pace cars. The Indy 500 race has used a Corvette Corvette at it as its pace car 18 times. The 2008 running of the Indy 500 represented at a record. Uh, fifth consecutive win, no wait, fifth consecutive year. Sorry, to lead the field until two thousand nine, when the com- when the when the Camaro SS was selected. The Corvette's pace car years and details include <coughs> uh, nineteen seventy eight, driven by nineteen sixty race winner Jim Rathman, Chevy produced six thousand five hundred and two production replicas. Now we got 1986, driven by famed um, pilot Chuck Yeager. Chuck Yeager. <coughs> kind of tough to possibly say, I don't know. A little bit tough to even pronounce the name. All 7,000, so all 7,315 production convertibles were considered pace car convertibles. And included official graphics to be installed at the owner's discretion or discretion of discretion I think spelled D I S so it's spelled D I S C R E T I O N Now we got nineteen ninety five driven by then Chevy General Manager Jim Perkins. 527 production replicas were produced. Now we got 19, the 1995 is done. Now we got 1998. Driven by 1963 race winner uh, Parnelli Jones. After an injury prevented golfer Greg Norman from performing the duty, 1,158 replicas were produced. Then we got 2002, driven driven by uh, actor Jim Caviezel. No replicas were produced, but graphics were available. The special order. Um, or, so, or, so 1986, driven by a famed pilot. Chuck Yeager, all 7,315 production, production convertibles were considered pace car 
convertibles are in, and, and included official uh, graphics to be installed at the owner's discretion. <coughs> 1995, driven by then Chevy General Manager Jim Perkins, 527 production replicas were produced. So that ain't a track. I almost forgot. So that 1998, driven by 1963 race winner Parnelli Jones, after an injury prevented golfer Greg Norman from performing the duty. 1,115. No, sorry, sorry. 1,158 replicas were produced. Sorry, I screwed up. I apologize. Now we got 2002, driven by actor Jim. Uh, Caviezel, no replicas were produced, so no replicas were produced, but graphics, but graphics were available by special order, about 300 sets sold. <clears throat> now we got 2004, driven by actor Morgan, driven, driven by actor Morgan Freeman, no production replicas produced. <clears throat> now we got my year, 2005. Driven by General uh, Colin Powell, no production replicas produced. Now we got 2006. Driven by cycling champion Lance Armstrong, first Corvette Z06 pace car. Again, no production replicas produced. Now we got 2007. Driven by actor uh, Patrick Dempsey, 500 production uh, replicas all convertibles so that's 2007 done now we got 2008 driven by uh, race winner Emer emerson fittipaldi can't really pronounce that um 500 production replicas uh cubes and uh, cubes and convertibles now we got 2012 driven by uh tv presenter guy or guy fieri Fieri is spelled, Fieri is spelled F-I-E-R-I, so F-I-E-R-I, so 2012, driven by TV, TV presenter Guy Fieri, first Corvette C6 ZR1 uh, pace car, so pace car, no production replicas produced, now we got my most favorite year, 2013, driven, driven, driven by, uh, Former Indianapolis uh, Colts football player Jim Harba. I can't really pronounce that well, but it spells H A R B A U G H. I don't even pronounce his name. Harba? I can't pronounce it. Pronounce his name. All right, 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 track. Um, so, uh, a name driven by race winner Emerson Fifty Baldi, five hundred production replicas, cubes and convertibles. Yeah, twenty twelve, driven by TV presenter Guy Fieri, first Corvette C six. ZR1 pace car, no production replicas for your story. We're on our track. So, 2013 we're on. Driven by former Indianapolis Colts football player. How do you say this word? Jim. Harbo. 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 I love you, Tom. Jim Harbo? Can't pronounce it. Uh, first year of production. For the C7 generation. <clears throat> now we got 2015. Driven by Brickyard 400 winner 
Jeff Gordon, first Chevy Corvette C7 Z06 Pace Car. The 2013 driven by former 2013 driven by driven by former Indianapolis Colts football player <coughs> Jim Harbaugh. 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 What does he call it? First year of production for the C7 generation. Remember that 2015 driven by Brickyard 400 winner Jeff Gordon. First Chevy Corvette C7 Z06 pace car. Now we got 2017 driven by act driven by actor sorry Jim, driven by um actor Jeffrey Dean Morgan. 2017 Grand Sport convertible. And now we got 2018. Driven by um the 2018 Ron, the 2018, driven by Indiana, uh, Indiana, so Indiana Pacers basketball player, Victor Oladipo, say Victor Oladipo, Victor Oladipo, he's an American professional basketballer, so an American professional, American professional basketball players, so basketball player he is. Who last played for the Miami Heat of the NBA National Basketball Association? So twenty eighteen, driven by uh, Indiana Pacers basketball player Victor Oladipo. <clears throat> uh, Chevy Corvette C seven zero one. No production replicas produced. Now we got twenty nineteen. <laughs> driven by a former NASCAR driver. So driven by a former. So that was twenty twenty nineteen. Driven driven by a former NASCAR driver, and NBC. Sorry, and NBC Sports broadcaster Dale. Earnhardt, so Dale Earnhardt, I can't pronounce it, it's spelled E-N-R-N-H-A-R-D-T, Jr. Last year of production for C7 generation, no production replicas produced. <clears throat> now we got worst year, 2020, that's probably my bad. Driven by GM President Mark Reus, can't pronounce it, but it spells R E. So it's R E R E U S S. Now, 2020 Corvette C8 Stingray Torch Red Coupe. No replicas were produced since 2021. Look at that boy. Now we got 2021. <clears throat> it's a little bit better. Driven by a former IndyCar driver, Danisa or Danica uh, Patrick. I don't even pronounce his name. Danica. Uh, so 20, 2021, driven by a former IndyCar driver, Danica Patrick. She's an American former professional racing driver, and she is one of the most successful women in the history of American open wheel car racing. Her victory in the 2008 Indy Japan, so Indy Japan 300 is the only win by a woman in a IndyCar series race. From Beloit, Beloit, Wisconsin. So 2021, driven by a former IndyCar driver, Danica Patrick. So 2021, driven by former former IndyCar driver, Danica, Danica Patrick. 2021 Corvette uh, C8 Stingray Arctic White Hard top. Now we got 2022. Driven by former IndyCar driver. Say 2022. Driven by a former IndyCar driver. Say former Indy IndyCar driver. Sarah Fisher. 
2023 Corvette C8 06 70 and 06 70th anniversary edition 06 <clears throat> and last but certainly not the very least we got this is the final part and then there's finally it. So this is the so this is the 2023. So now we're at we're not 2022. Driven by former Indy car driver Sarah Fisher. 2023 Corvette C8 06 70th anniversary edition 06. Starting out the last one. 2023. And then now we'll wrap it up. Driven by Indy car Indy car driver. So 2023. Let's finish this. <clears throat> driven by driven by Indiana Pacers basketball player Tyrese Halliburton. Uh, 2023. Sorry, sorry, 20, 20, 2023. Driven by uh, Indiana Pacers basketball player Tyrese Halliburton. 2023. Corvette C8 06. So 2023 Corvette zero. So 2023 Corvette C8 Z06 hardtop. Oh, and that is finally it. Oh, yeah, there we go. And that is officially it for the Corvette. Yes, yes. Finally. Took me forever to do, man. I managed to get it done. Oh, wow, yes. Woo. Finally done. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Took me forever to do, but now I finally got it done Woo! finally so for my next video i don't know what i'll do like i got a lot of cars planned but like i'm not sure if i'll do them all because like it's really gonna take forever to do all of them so i don't know what i'll do but i will find out very soon what i can do for the next video <coughs> and that'll be it so yeah, um, if you guys like this uh, video, like it, subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notification bell, and hit all so you are alerted when I make new uploads. That's all I gotta say, so you know, remember, like the video, subscribe, so like the video, sub subscribe, comment down below what you guys think, hit the notif hit that notification bell, and hit, hit all so you are alerted of when I make new uploads. Alright. <clears throat> so that'll be it. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. But until then, stay safe. Have a great day. But until then, stay safe. Have a great day. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So, take care folks. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care folks. Bye-bye.